Missouri has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boston College's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at the 35. Seven yards there. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. From their own 35-yard line, Mike third down. Mike eight. Hey. Check, check. Easy, easy, easy. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Stop behind the line. If this offense keeps running at this guy, they're going to have to rethink some of their play calls. From their own 34-yard line, second down. He's to the 40. It's complete, and he is drilled at the 45. That makes it third and three. He's tackled around the 47-yard line. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at the 17. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. From the 17-yard line, first down. He throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tap. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. it to the end zone. He brings it down. Touchdown. <laughs> he splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, 73-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Just 
throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Fires out quickly to the tailback. No game. That brings us 30 to 10. Mike 34, Mike 34. It's a party now. Check, check. And a quick throw. They'll knock him down for a loss. These three and outs are quite simply momentum killers. Four yard line. Fourth down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. <laughs> Brought down the 39-yard line. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 37. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's got it. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here. And again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Boston College, up seven points. Hand off, and he's met immediately. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 49. And he throws it away. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's tackled around the 44-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Takes the ground and steps out right away. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 29 yard line. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 7 0, Boston College.
and we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Green 9, go! He's going to try and scramble. And now he's going to improvise. And he's level at the 16-yard line. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. than a yard on the quarterback scramble. And he hits him hard at the five. That brings us fourth and goal. This one should be makeable. the uprights. And you gotta think Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Boston College is up four. He's got it with room to run. He's taken down about the third time. With the tackle at the 35-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Here we go! Flag 98! And now he's got room to run. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gain of five yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Red eight. Run. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 41. Well designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Tackle at the 36. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Let's go! Play fake. Defense bearing down. Passes. Tight end's got another one. And he shoved out of bounds right around the two-yard line. Makes first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're packed in tight on the line. Here we go. Touchdown, BC! Man, the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? 
He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. So those big guys are going to walk away knowing they had a big hand in that score. And he hits the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's scribbling. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 20. It's knocked away, incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. And now he's got room to run. Tackled after a decent pickup, and he didn't get enough for the first. Now, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. And this one is a beauty. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. The Eagles offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it. And the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board. And I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from the first down marker. Mike 8. Mike 8. And down he goes at the forty two. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive back hey! as the offense comes up five wide. Man open, incomplete. Don't think the other receivers didn't see that hit. They'll be thinking about this guy when they're running their routes, too. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. So we're looking at another third down here. He wants it all. Intercepted. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. From their own 24-yard line, first down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Passes and it's almost picked off. Number eight was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 27-yard line. Third down. Mike 34, Mike 32, 
Tackle made at the 30-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Boston College is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Booming kick. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The Eagles are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. They'll make the sack. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. And they make the stop at the 39. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. It's away, and it's a booming punt. They'll bring him down at the 28. We've played a half. Boston College leads 14-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. We got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action, but that doesn't mean that your script goes first and ten, I have to run the football. Mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese Davis, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. Boston College is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback. He's sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. to the receiver. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. He looked pretty confident that time on the throw. Yeah, good throw in the coverage it looked like, and you're right. He seems well composed, very sure of himself on that play. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he is drilled at the 44. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebackers. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. Nice run there. That makes it seven and six. Easy, easy. 
Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Second and 12. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here we go, here we go. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Go. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of four. That'll bring up third and eight. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Kill, kill, kill. He heaves it to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Almost intercepted in the end zone. And you can see he made a great move here, anticipating the football and came up with a big defensive play. They're going to try a long field goal here. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. We're about set to start things up again. Boston College up by eight. He wants it all going long. And he got it! Touchdown, Boston College! Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Nice run up the middle. And he's tackled at the 37. Pretty good defense there on the option. They'll stop him for a loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 37. Brought down around the 35 yard line. That's the way you That'll make it third and 13. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Go on, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Throws this one out to the right. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. And he's leveled at the 23 yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 23 yard line, second down. They go 
with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. That'll bring up third and four. Now he tries time. Tackle at the 16. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Quick throw to that end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Ball game 37 yards. That makes it first and 10. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Now he pitches it. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike eight. Mike eight. Red hot. And he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. Number 28 makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That'll make it 31. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. I think the offense has to stick with who they are. They know their identity. This time they came up a little bit short, but I think based on what they're seeing from their defense, they've got to be able to make a decision on whether or not they want to run the football or throw. That time the run did not work at all because they got beat up front at the line of scrimmage. Not sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Just throws this one away. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Five wide. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That is a loss of five. That makes it third and 15. We played three, and this is not what the experts predicted. 21 to 9, Boston College. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. 
He's tackled at the 45. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Big opening. He's out of bounds at the 44-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44. He might have a chance. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Double tight, double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. First From the 32-yard line, first down. Regular, regular, regular. And down he goes, around the 24-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That's a bring up second and three. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. 87's getting the ball. 87's getting the ball. Hello. Tackle made at the 21. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. Ready! Red 18! Hut high at 18! Easy, easy, easy! Eagle! Eagle! Ball. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Second down and seven. Ball on the 17. Just under three to go in regulation. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at the eighth. Gain of nine on the play. And this play is number eight on the drive. Three down, three down. My game, my game. Ready. Red 18. Red 18. Check, check. Easy, easy, easy. Fox two, Fox two. Hut, hut. And he just gets rid of it. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Takes the ball right. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can, and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. And they push him out at about the 37-yard line. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 37. Just under two to go in the game. He steps out right around the 44-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Caught open field, and they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Check, check, dancer, dancer. That'll move the chance for another Missouri. Green nine, green nine, go. X seven. Got a man. Watch out here. He's tackled around the 36-yard line. Kill, kill, kill. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's hit immediately. to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Kill, kill, kill! Where? That makes it second and eight. Go for it! Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. And here's another third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Red, two, go! And he shoved out of bounds at the 25. That makes it fourth and four. We have less than a minute to go. Kill, kill. Fires it out. And he's immediately tackled. Missouri is going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and 10. All on the 21. He's under pressure. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Got a man open, touchdown. A positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After the view of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. The short yardage defense here. It's our time. It's our time. Hey, check back 34. Green, nice, go. And they get the two. Little touches. down at the 46. Even if they had recovered, I don't know if they would have been able to pull this one out. You can't blame them for trying, though. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Under a minute left. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock.
Boston College's team right now aware that they are a team. Hey, they're starting to shine today. Everybody else picked up the pace, though. I think we all came in expecting to see that star player really shine. And, and the fact that they didn't have a great game from him and still won the football game, boy, I walk away from this game as a viewer just thinking even that much more about this team than maybe what I thought prior to the football game.